Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are developing the pizza app, right? So we have de we have used these all things. So now let's try to develop this pizza app. So now before developing this one, so here I I will add a strict mode. So I know in the previous video I have forgot to mention you this one. So I am mentioning a strict mode. What is this strict mode? Is in the development. So not in the production or anything. So in the development, the component or the project will be rendered twice. Why? Because in order to check any outdated technologies that we are using or any uh, uh, bugs or anything. So if anything is there uh, to in order to mention that one, so it will try to make it will try to re-render twice to in order to check those all the things. This is this will happen only in the development, not in the production. It will not do it twice. So that is a that is what I want to mention you. So re, uh, adding a React strict mode doesn't uh, uh, do much. Uh, not what not do much means. So if you mention it, it will give you some outdated technology, some uh, assumptions and uh, some um, flaws. It will try to tell you. So that is the reason we will be uh, wrapping with the React that strict mode. So with using the if you if you are using this one means it will be rendered twice in the development phase. So fine. So we'll, uh, we'll discuss about this one afterwards. So now let's try to develop our project with app. So now if I am trying to develop this one, so what I will do is I have some data. Okay. So I don't want to uh, write. So I have some data. So I will uh, copy this data and I will paste it at the top. So we are having some couple of data. Okay. So here I found it from the internet. So here I am added some data and this data. So we'll try to use this data. Okay. So these are all the list of pizzas available. Now here I will do I will create a component function pizza. Okay, so single pizza. I am developing it here. So this one will return. This one will return. This one will return the HTML. So here, what I can do is I will wrap it in one div, and here I will uh, do H2. So here, this one is a pizza title. So which we need to do it. Afterwards, we'll do it. Pizza title and another one is uh, let's say pizza description. Okay, so this is the component which I am trying to do it. So this pizza has been created. This component has been created. Now I want to use this component. So here in the app, I will use this component pizza. If I try to use this component here, immediately we got an error here. You will be able to see that. So we cannot able to use this one. Why? Because so you cannot have in a component two adjacent elements like this. So there should be one root element wrapped. So here I will try to for every component. This one is compulsory. So you will wrap it like this. So now you'll be able to see the output. So this time we are able to see the pizza and title also here. Right. So now another thing what I want to do is so we have used this pizza title, right? Now we can duplicate this component, not duplicate. So we can use this component multiple times. Now here you'll be able to see the pizza title description has been added multiple times. Okay. So like this, we have added it. And also what I want to tell you is uh, already I have the images in my uh, public repository. So I will copy those all up in the public repository. Those all images. So I will paste it. These all the images. So I have pasted the some images which I found it from the internet. So I have pasted these all the images where so here this is the image photo name which we will be having. So I will use this one inside here. IMG SRC is equal to I will use some dash static thing. Afterwards, we'll make it dynamic. Now one by one, one by one, we'll try to see. So here I am able to see some image. Now here we are able to display the pizza component. This is how we will be creating the component and we will be using it here. So creating and reusing the components. Okay. So this is the usage of this uh, in the react the components usage. So here you can mention the alt. Okay, so I have mentioned the alt here. The way this is the ES, ESLint error. Now we got it. Now never mention the component inside an another component. So here you do you cannot mention here like this. So this one will work. Not a problem. This one works still works this one, but this is not the recommended way. So nested components means so using a component inside a component. Okay, so not like this. So we should not use it like this. So here I am copying this. I am removing this one and I am pasting at the bottom. So like this we need to use. So you are using component inside component means I mean to say like this nested component means I mean to say like this. So fine. So we have created our uh, pizza component 
and here we are able to see the complete output so we have understood about the usage of this creating of this component and reusing the component we have seen it now i want to design i want to complete this little bit more by adding a header and also the footer and a menu let's try to create those components also here function header so this is the component we'll try to uh, separate we'll separate these all the things in a, in, a, in another video so just i am trying to explain you the components concept function header and i will be having a footer and in between this one i will be having a menu okay so that's it so these are the header footer and menu now in this header i can return h1 leela pizza app so this is the method which i want to tell you in the menu we will return uh, h2 our menu so i will have it like this and here i can have div oh sorry we will return div open today so just i am adding a method here so that's it so header menu and footer is there so let's add this header menu and footer here i can add directly header menu and the last one is the footer okay so this is the footer so this is our footer fine so if you try to see here at the top we are able to see our header and this is our menu and at the bottom we are able to see open today as the footer so we have added all those things so now instead of keeping these all pizzas and all those things here so it's a part of the menu right so we can go back we can add these all the components in the menu so here i will paste it and here we need to have a root component root component why because we are having multiple components right so here i will mention like this so in this root component i will add the pizza like this so three pizzas i have added it now if you try to see the output so we are able to see the same output but we have structured our components so here this is our root component and in this root component we are having header menu and footer Th these are the three components which we are having and this header we will be displaying the header part so whatever the header part you want to add you can add it and the menu we have this menu and in this menu we have designed the pizzas and the footer we have this footer and this is another component pizza so this is how we will be creating the components one by one this is the data instead of getting it from the db or anything i have added some static data which we will try to bind it to our components afterwards while going on so this is how we will be creating the components. So this this video is an entirely about how to create the components and how we can reuse the components inside another component, nesting the components, how we can use it. So this this one, what I will try to do is I will commit this all the code in a new branch. So whoever wants, they can do it. So here I will be having something like video hyphen eight. So this is the eighth video. So creating components. We have did creating components. Okay, and I will commit this code and publish this branch and i will publish this branch so let's publish this branch publish publish it will take some time so we have committed this branch so published this this one is published so now whoever may be having a doubts that the, the link will be provided in the description below whoever may be having doubts and all those things so they can go to this url okay so they can go to my url react 18 course will be there Oh, where is that one react 18 right oh, find repository yeah here it is there so whoever may be having doubts or anything so they can go to my public repository so here it has been committed so here in this this is the uh, this is the project which you are trying to uh, write now so here i have committed all the images and all those things and everything i have committed it here whoever may be having doubts and all those things so they can go and refer to this code hope you understood about this uh, components creation if you have any doubts or any suggestions Please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.